Welcome to Webidoo. In this short tutorial, we'll learn how to work with the Shape tool. To start, click on the Shape icon in the Elements panel, or simply drag and drop the icon onto the canvas. We can always manipulate the size and positioning of the shape by moving, resizing, or manually inserting any specific dimensions in the fields on the Position Properties panel. Here, we can adjust the settings of the fill, stroke, and shadow of the shape. Let's start with the fill property. To set up a color, we can choose a color manually with the color picker, pick a color style from the site presets, or insert the color hex code. The opacity can be set with the slider. Now, let's examine the stroke property. Here, we can set up the type of stroke, solid, dashed, dotted, or none. The color, the stroke size, and the corners radius. In these fields, we can set up the stroke on all sides of the shape together, or set up different parameters on each side separately. On the curve radius, we control the amount of curve on all the corners at once or individually, just as we did with the stroke. Finally, in shadow, we can set up our shape shadow, determining the specific type, color, and the opacity. In addition, we can upload an image into the shape. Just press the image icon, choose an image from the computer directory, and upload it. By clicking on size, we can choose original size, stretch, fill, will resize the image to scale the shape, fit, will scale the image to fit entirely inside the shape. In position, we can align the image to top left, center, bottom right, and so forth. On repeat, we can set the image to repeat horizontally, vertically, or as a pattern. We can also set the image to scroll with the page or not. Now, let's learn about the fitting properties of the shape. Add a new shape, check fit to width and fit to height. Change the color and the opacity and set the stroke. Now we have a new shape that completely fills the footer. Add another shape in order to frame this part of the website. As we did before, let's change the size of the shape, check fit to width, and upload an image. Move the image back behind the other elements, and now we have an image filling the shape of this entire section. Shapes are very commonly used as buttons. We'll add another shape around this text resize it, remove the fill, and change the stroke. Holding shift, we will select both elements and click on the include option in the design panel to make it all one element. Now, next to link to, we can choose page to turn the shape into a button that links to another page. We can choose link and add a URL will create a link for an external page, or we can choose Anchor, which will allow us to link to any Anchor link previously set on this page. And that's all it takes to master the Shape tool. You can check out additional tutorials to learn more about creating beautiful websites in the WebiDo Academy video lessons. For any questions, we're always here to help.